What's up, guys? God bless you. This is the Hot Man a Minute <clears throat> YouTube channel. Uh, quick video today. I've been seeing a lot of talk on YouTube about um, the Shroud of Turin, and I'm gonna settle it today, once and for all. Not I, but the Word of God. All right. So see this picture? That's supposed to be Jesus. Um, his body and the cloth that they wrapped him in after his crucifixion. Now, how many pieces of cloth are there? One or two? I see one, right? So we can agree upon that. Now let's see what the Word of God says. John chapter 20, verse 7. It says, And the handkerchief that had been around his head, not lying with the linen cloths, was folded together in a place by itself. So clearly the Word of God says there's two different pieces of linen. And the Shroud of Turin is only one piece of linen. So the Catholic Church has pulled a huge forgery with this. And there's a lot of Christians that are doing YouTubes on it. And they believe in this and be Jesus. It's a lie. The Word of God says it's a lie. Now real quick, interesting fact why this scripture right here says that it was folded together in a place by itself was back in Jesus's time. See, we've lost this in culture. But in Jesus's time, when a man had slaves or servants under him and he had a great banquet, he would fold his napkin, his, his face mat, and put it on the table folded and it was assigned to his servants and, and indentured servants that he was coming back and not to touch any of the food on the table till he was finished. But if the face cloth or the handkerchief was like wadded up and thrown that would meant to the servants that whatever was on the table was free scraps was up for grabs for the servants so i think it's important that we notice the, the word of god mentions that it says it was folded together in a place by itself meaning that our lord and master will return he's coming back so all right this is the hot man in a minute thank you have a good day bye